Hillbilly Deluxe. That was crazy. Yeah, it was fun, man. It was fun. And you haven't done a show or a song like that high energy on the show yet. Did that feel good to do something a little more fun? Oh, yeah, man. You know, I was able to show a little more my redneck side. And, uh, that's kind of how we do it back, you know, back home too. You know, just, just get loud and crazy and have a lot of fun. And uh, it was pretty cool to do that on national television. What do I need to know to become a redneck? Like, <laughs> how do how do I do that? You think it's possible? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, you just gotta spend some time down there. You'll find out. Is there anything like? Is there anything like you have to do to be a redneck? Uh, you're kind of born with it, man. So, okay. But uh, <laughs> damn it, it's just a lifestyle, man. You know. Anybody can be one. And you, um, now you've done kind of a more up-tempo song. What do you think you're going to do next? Uh, you know, hopefully we can pull out another up-tempo tempo song and, and throw a little gospel tone under it. Oh. You know, bring it bring it a little home to church, you know. Get it, you got to get it to church. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. So we have a couple fan questions. What's the first song you ever perform live? Uh, Jumbo Blues by Jason uh, Allen. How's that go? Well, I was born in a jumbo with a cane pole in Woo. my hand. I like that. That's good. And do you have a pre-show ritual? Uh, man, I usually just pray to you know pray to the good Lord and just get right with myself. Um, sometimes I put a dip snuff in or not. I don't know. It all depends on what's going on. 